Hello everyone. Welcome to Basics e-Learning. I am going to solve CBSE NCERT textbook for class 10 with a detailed explanation for all the chapters. Today we are going to see introduction to trigonometry. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics where it deals with the triangles. So trigonometry is the term that is taken from Greek. Tree means three, gono means sides, metri means calculation that is measurement. So the study of relationship between sides and angles of triangles particularly right angle triangle uh, is studied in trigonometry. So why do we learn trigonometry that we are going to see now why do we learn trigonometry. Earlier days astronomers are used to find the distances of stars planets from earth using this trigonometry exactly where to find out the star or planet from earth so to locate the star or planet from earth they are using trigonometry even nowadays to locate the position of a particular object we are using trigonometry so i will explain with few examples here where we are using this trigonometry in our day to day life suppose say i am selecting one random point okay so let us say this point is P and where is the point located on this paper. So to identify the location of the paper we need coordinates x coordinate and y coordinate right. So on x axis we will take the scale similarly on y axis we will take the scale. So on x axis it is suppose say 3.5 units and on y axis it is suppose say some 6 units then we will write here 3.5 comma 6 suppose if there is no scale now see here from the origin to the point if I join here it is forming a right angle triangle so if you don't know the x, and x uh, coordinate or y coordinate if you simply know the angle also, we can find out the position of this point here using trigonometry. This is one example where we are using trigonometry. Then one more example. Suppose say uh, there is a balloon. S suppose say there is a balloon flying here. At time t1, the balloon is here. And a boy on the road is observing here, standing here. And boy is observing the balloon at time t1 suppose. And at time t2 the balloon is moved to some other point. The boy is standing there only and observing the balloon at time t2. Now see the boy observed two different positions of balloons standing in the same position in different timings. Now you see I can draw two triangles here, two right angle triangles, one is like this and the other one is like this. Now, so using few metrics here that are the sides or angles, we can find out the velocity at which the balloon is flying, the speed at which the balloon is flying. If you know the height of a boy or a height of the balloon where he is looking at and at what angle he is looking at if you know the few measurements then we can find out the speed at which the balloon is flying similarly we will see one more example suppose a girl is sitting on the terrace okay and there is a suppose say there is a lake in front of her house and there is a flower here at the end of the lake and a girl is observing the flower. Right? So if you know height of the building and if you know at what angle she is observing, then you can find out the width of the river in this case. So to find out the width of the rivers, 
to find out the movement of a cloud or an aeroplane at what speed it is moving or a hot air balloon all these things can be understood clearly from trigonometry so this is the introduction to trigonometry and where we are using trigonometry in our day to day life thank you for more videos please do like share subscribe to our channel let us know your suggestions and queries in the comment box Thank you.